Welcome back. My name is Patrick, and this is the Oilers Rundown. Let's kick things off with a big scoop from Pierre Lebrun of The Athletic and TSN. As the week begins here, there remains mutual interest between the Florida Panthers and Claude Giroux to figure something out, but July 13th is fast approaching. The Panthers are somewhat hamstrung by the cap, and whether or not they can find a deal that works for both sides to keep Giroux in South Florida is not guaranteed. There are clubs lurking, hoping to have a chance at Giroux 34 come July 13th. One of those teams, I'm told, is the Edmonton Oilers. In the event that the Oilers can't re-sign Evander Kane, I was told over the weekend that the Oilers have internally discussed the merits of trying to sign Giroux. He has played primarily wing in the last few years, but also remains a top face-off guy and still obviously impactful offensively. Giroux playing either with Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl has plenty of appeal. I think one of the key elements, regardless of where Giroux ends up, is signing more than a one-year deal. He's got two young boys, and I don't think the veteran player and his wife want to keep moving around year to year. Teams that step up with a two- or even three-year deal will have a better shot. But so will teams with a shot at winning, which the Oilers represent after a trip to the Western Conference Final. Obviously, another team to watch would be the Senators. Giroux and his family spend their summers in Ottawa, I just think the allure of wanting to win a cup as soon as possible would be the sticking point on that one, even though it's a young and talented team that's on the rise. But maybe the sense pitch, if Ottawa decides to dive in on Giroux, wins him over. Giroux would certainly be an interesting pickup for the Oilers. He had 65 points last season, which included 21 goals split between Philadelphia and Florida. Giroux has never been an elite scorer. His career high is 34, back in 2017 but playing with Connor McDavid or Leon Dreisaitl could change that real fast. The Oilers could add Giroux at right wing or at center. Giroux is excellent on face-offs, a strength the Oilers would love to add. He's not the player he once was, but he's still very effective, and he certainly wouldn't be a bad plan B if the Oilers can't re-sign Evander Kane. Speaking of Evander Kane, Bob Stoffer of Oilers Now notes the following. Hearing that multiple pending UFAs are watching the Evander Kane situation with the Edmonton Oilers closely. After what Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl did in the playoffs, there is belief the Oilers are contenders. Oilers GM Ken Holland has expressed his desire to re-sign Kane, and I believe that Kane camp would be open to a long-term extension with the Oilers. Personally, I don't know if I want to go long-term with Kane. Anything beyond three or four years makes me nervous. But we know Ken Holland doesn't shy away from long-term deals if it gets something done. Compete today, worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Pierre Lebrun noted it remains doubtful that Kane's grievance with the San Jose Sharks is heard before the opening of free agency. Unless a settlement can be reached beforehand, Kane's situation is likely to drag past July 13th. Jason Greger of TSN had these coaching updates. Brian Wiseman has discussed the options of being the lead assistant for the Condors or a role in player development for the Oilers. Also has options outside of the organization. Dustin Schwartz will return as the goaltending coach. Oilers looking to add a second video coach, likely to focus on combining video and analytics. Oilers are also discussing hiring a goalie scout. I know everyone will be thrilled to hear that Dustin Schwartz is back. And lastly, Ryan Rashog notes that Jake DeBrusque has rescinded his trade request and is likely to stay in Boston going forward, so any possible trade to Edmonton is probably off the table at this point. Well guys, what do you think? Claude Giroux or Evander Kane? Who do you want? Let me know in the comments section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic? Thanks for being a fan. Have a great evening, guys. I'll see you soon.